This is a special episode about monopoles and their descriptions slash combinations of certain EVs. And this is from today and a couple months ago. But I just decided to let it out there because I got sick of sitting on it for a while. And I think I started it about February 7th. So let's get started. Plus slash minus electrons from valence shells. This may be what makes them hard to make, though it takes... 297 kilojoules per mole to force the electron off of the atom maximum of hydrogen, so it's a matter of finding the right electrical output to force these conditions. It may be a constant feed to get it to work, too. First iteration. Made up of 15 atoms. 4 to the power plus 4 silicon prism connected to a ruthenium core on either side are 3 Na atoms, comma, one side being plus 1 each, comma, the other side being minus 1 each. 4 to the power of plus 4 carbon prism. At molecular orbital negative 1.39 EV 2E negative, you get this positive monopole at the plus 4 carbon prism with NA assistance. Then there's a photo which I'll show in the video. Uh, now, at negative 0.99 EV 2E negative, you get this at the plus 4 silicon prism without NA assistance. Uh, it's, it's another photo. But if electrostatic potential is taken, you get this. And this shows the third photo, which is the complete opposite pole along the length of the uh, molecule. The opposing negative force along its entirety. This is what is worrying me, that the system is malfunctioning and showing the wrong information. If the carbons are 4 to the power of negative 4, you get the same build. Photos can be added to show you, but they're the same. So let's move on to the negative build. Now, if you change the materials to silicon prisms, you get a different build. At negative 1.17 EV, 2 E minus, you get with 1 minus 1 NA assistance, you get the picture below. At negative 0.99 EV, 2 E negative, you get a pure silicon prism as shown below, with a weaker electrostatic potential, still of, of the opposite type. If you change one of the prisms to 4 to the power of negative 4 charge, then the build remains the same for the same EV. If a combination of the 4 to the power of negative 4 and the 4 to the power of plus 4 prisms uses just carbons at negative 1.39 EV 2E negative are used. You get negative uh, over the 4 to the power of plus 4 prism and at negative 1.12 EV 2E negative you get positive pole at the positive end. And with its electrostatic potential you get this shown below. So this would be a dipole magnet and not of use to our builds. So my thoughts are there are combinations with the inert atom ruthenium that work as a blocking agent of the magnetic pole to allow only one spin for one side while denying the spin of the other side depending on the flow of electrons. Knowing that they're negative, it'll likely flow towards the silicon since it can do both monopole types. Question. But how does it overcome the inert nature of the ruthenium? I would think quantum tunneling of a single atom given enough force would allow the reception atoms to attain their electrons needed for the monopole to work. Down below is a 10 atom version of a monopole. Fluoride 5, palladium 5, 100% stable. And it's using fifth dimensional geometry or fifth dimensional chemistry to be designed. And the images are below. If you exchange for chloride, you get a nearly full circular monopole, which looks like this. And electrostatic potential is also positive, an improvement there. Using BR, you get something similar, which is stronger, but a little bit different. And then if you use iodine, you get a five star shape for the 10 atom build with a very, very wide electrostatic potential. Fluoride and iodine between palladium gives a negative monopole, but if we add a palladium atom to the right side palladium atom, we get the same shape of molecular orbital, but it's a reversed monopole. So I just signed up for 
Anchor's uh, funding platform for the podcasters. It seems like a better deal than Patreon at the moment. So I would ask that you click the button that says donate and maybe donate a dollar or five dollars or ten dollars a month to us so that we can keep going. And I can produce almost daily or daily podcasts or more in the way that I've been going. And I'll produce book after book after book after book and then I'll read through them. And I just I'll keep doing that until there won't I can't see an end to it. It's so much fun. It really is. So please go to anchor.fm slash divergent mind. And click the donate button. And that'll help me out a whole bunch. Thank you so much. Jay. Please visit anchor.fm slash divergent mind to leave a message so that I may get back to you. Thank you. Have a nice day. Hi, everybody. So I've made a new store called AnimalQuest.shop, and I made my first shirt, Barkland Reading, at the Amberstone's house. And I would ask that you go and buy those there. I'll make a few bucks each time you buy something from there. And I have men, women's, baby clothing, and buttons, as well as other accessories, including dog bandanas, which I think are pretty cool. And I'll be adding more merch every week or two for that store as the stories progress and the sequels are written and read. I'll do the same for Divergent Mind. The link again is animalquest.shop. The link for Divergent Mind will be divergentmind.shop as well. Thank you so much. Jay. Okay, so I just wanted to let you know that I have a YouTube channel called Taught Myself and that I've decided to start selling merch already with a phrase that my brother showed me saying my disability is invisible, of which I made a hat for myself. So I decided to make hats, shirts, hoodies uh, for both men and women on Spreadshirt.com. All you have to do is search for My Disability is Invisible. It's in green, and that's mine. You'll know it's me because when you click the sale icon, the same little Divergent Mind icon comes up, and I hope you support me. I make about $5 per shirt or per sale. Everything else goes to Spreadshirt. But that's okay because it's still a better deal than a lot of other places. And I really hope you'll support me. Come check me out on the YouTube. Teach me how to do that properly so I can uh, have a community there too. And I await your response. Have a lovely day. Jay. Hey, people. Take a listen to the Divergent Mind podcast. You get both insight into living with a mental, a serious mental illness and get to listen to a lovely tale about a journey cute little animals need to take. Don't miss out. And remember, divergent minds don't need to think alike.
please go to ratethispodcast.com slash divergentmind and tell me what you think. Thank you very much. Yours truly, Jay. Please go to ratethispodcast.com slash divergentmind and tell me what you think. Thank you very much. Yours truly, Jay.